thank you guys so much for being on tonight. And um, we're, we're going to talk a little bit. We, we kind of dropped the ball because I know we talked about doing the five-day free clean eating group last week. And we talked about, uh, talked about starting it Monday, but I... I, am, I dropped the ball on that. So Steph and I were messaging today and we figured out that next Monday is Memorial Day. So we thought it would be good to start the day after. So we're going to start on Tuesday because everybody on a holiday weekend is eating like crap and then they're going to want to, you know, get back, jump on the bandwagon. So I know Steph actually posted about it today. And like, what did you post? You posted something really good and you're having like a million people responding. Yeah. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. So I decided to try posting a video because um, Marissa recently taught me how to do like videos with like, I don't know, just in a cool way. So I decided to try my hand at that and I posted a video basically saying like, you know, hey, I'm going to have like a free five day clean eating group. You know, it's to motivate you and, you know, we're going to provide a meal plan, workouts, support, motivation. It's going to be great. I've posted about challenges before. So, you know, try this and see how it works for you. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Like it's, I posted it on my page so you can see it. And I posted it on a buy, sell, trade site, like four of them, but one of them like took off and I've sent out 30 messages today. <laughs> so, wow. um, it was nuts. Like everybody wanted a piece of it. Um, I started doing like the five, couple people and I actually got on calls, but I was like, I have too many people. I just can't do that. So what I'm doing is I'm having them all go to my website and sign up for a pre free profile to make sure one, that they're not already a Beachbody customer. And two, if they enjoy everything and they, you know, like what we're doing and they start fishing around on their own, if they do buy something, to get, they have to do the free profile, but get a two part where it's like, oh. when I like one segment was like my video, but then right next to it was like five day free plan, like clean eating, blah, blah, blah. And it like listed it. And it's like, if you're interested, comment with I'm in. So it's like, you could listen to the video, but they saw if they were interested. And I got, hits on. so my thing is like videos, they can see me. They know that I'm proof the product works. They know it's not just some random chick hiding behind their computer that, you know, maybe isn't in shape or do anything. Like they can see my body and they can see my excitement. So I think that's why it worked. I actually, uh, so I posted, I did like a clean eating group last month, I think a five day. And I posted on my business page and I posted just like a picture of meal prep, like, um, like a salad. And then like a picture of like all these like vegetables and all this clean food, like on my counter. And I got this from another coach that's, she does it like once a month. She boosts, she boosts her posts to people. So she pays like 20 or 30 bucks to boost her post on her business page. And I think I got about maybe 15 people that actually joined the clean eating group. So I have like 15 new contacts and one of them, um, I'm actually like working on to be a coach, but I didn't actually upgrade any of them to challenge packs. And I'll tell you why, because I think that I failed at connecting them really like I just kind of like okay sweet and I threw them in the group and then I gave them like the meal plan and I didn't actually like connect with them and like find their goals and make that one-on-one -on -one connection so it's really important it doesn't have to necessarily be by phone but it's really important to make that connection like what Stephanie's doing and messaging them and finding their goals and if it's especially if it's someone that you've never talked to before you're trying to establish trust with them and it's the only way that you can do that is to spend time asking them questions about themselves yeah. And I can even post in the group, like my initial message that I've copy and pasted to every one of them. Cause it does say like, thanks. I'm so excited to get you started. You know, tell me a little bit about yourself and your goals. And then I give a brief, short introduction about me. So I can post that as well. Okay. That'd be great. And share your, share your video, um, like your post from your page into the group so they can see your video. I watched it. It was good. I would, I would be like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> has, any, has anybody else done anything with these free clean eating groups or free ab challenge or anything that's worked that they can share? I have you all muted. So if you want to talk, you have to unmute your line. Or does anybody have questions for us? About what I just started a free ab one. How's it going for you? 
Um, I've got about 16 people in it. I've had two people private message me for more information about Beachbody and what I'm doing. Awesome. Um, so that was exciting. It's just the first day of it today, and I did a video to show them, like, the, I picked four um, exercises to focus on over the next couple of days, and I did a video to show them what I wanted out of them. And so a lot of, I've had a lot of interaction, a lot of people commenting and posting, and so I think it's good. It's a good way. It's like an icebreaker. And then Stephanie had a really good idea too, was to upgrade them to once they finish the free challenge, if they're not necessarily someone that's ready to purchase a challenge pack, then another way to keep building that relationship with them and gaining trust is to have them do the free Beachbody on demand. Um, what is it? Is a free trial for like 30 days? It's free for 30 days. So they do have to put in their credit card number but they will not be charged for 30 days. And then after 30 days, I tell them, you know, they'll be charged quarterly, but it comes down to $2 and 99 cents a week, which is nothing. Yeah. And then they'll have access to all the beach money on demand videos. So it's a way for you to start to slowly get people in, you know, instead of just having people like, here you go, you have to pay, you know, spend $160 on a challenge pack. And then what it helps you do is gain confidence in your ability to invite people. And it starts helping you build trust with those people. And sometimes you never know, people may, you may find that you'll find some companies out of it. You may have some people that are really loving it, but maybe they can't afford to be a coach. I mean, they can't afford to like do maybe a challenge pack or, but the coaching opportunity may be the way that they'd be able to afford the challenge pack, knowing that there's a way for them to earn their initial investment back. So as you build those relationships, you're building trust with people. And as we know, this business is about relationship first and then product second. So it's really important that you're connecting with them. That's the most important thing. I'm guilty of it too. I don't, I used to not get on the phone ever. I used to just like hide behind my messenger. And then, but then what I find is like, when I do that, if I sign a challenger up and I don't actually talk to them before the challenge, I feel like they don't interact as much. Cause I'm not, I don't have like, influence. like Stephanie knew like a lot of her people too. And like, has like a, like a strong influence. I, mine was all like cold market. Like I didn't know anybody. So I'm, I'm trying to do that, get on the phone with them more. Like I'm setting up with the challenge group right now. I'm setting up exit interviews with all the people that did the last, the May one since we're on the last week. And I'm going to try to connect with everybody for 15 minutes and talk about what their next, you know, the plan is for them next and see if there's any potential. I do have a potential coach in there. So don't underestimate the power of a telephone call. You know, like I know it's old school, but it's really going to help you make that connection. Or even if you can, you can do, you know, video conferencing. I'll tell you something like when I started doing zooms with my coaches, cause I didn't used to do zooms with my coaches. I used to just do calls and like, we didn't even see each other. And now that I've started doing zooms, like when I, with my coaches, it's great. Like we actually get to see each other. We feel, I feel like more connected to them. I'm sure they feel more connected to me. So and then another way I've been like meeting people, if you're interested is, and I think I posted it, is I looked at like meetup groups in my area. Like there's several groups that like they are already established. For example, you can find fitness groups, spiritual groups, you know, uh, you can find like certain business groups. You can find like anything. I mean, literally there's every single category. And then you can just, you can literally like just create an account on meetup.com and then find a group that interests you and join it. And they already have established like several members in these groups. Sorry, I'm just going to close the cage since my bird flew in. And then I went on this nature hike. Like it wasn't even really a hike. It was like a nature walk, more like, like a three mile, like on, I mean, I'm used to like Hawaii. This was like flatlands, but I actually met a girl um, that was like, you know what? I've been following this beach. I wore of course, my wear and share, a 21 day fixed extreme shirt. And I had my little backpack that says like team beach body on it. My little water, you know, water pack or whatever. And she was like, are you a beach body coach? And I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, well I've been, I've been following this, a wife. It was the wife of her friend on Facebook for a while. And she's like, she's, I think she's like a pretty successful coach. And she's like, oh, she has so many followers. She gets so many comments on her thing. And, and I, you know, I, she, always, she loves the Shakeology and blah, 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 whatever. So we started talking and I was like, I realized that she wants to, she's actually probably in her, I would guess like probably in her late forties. She's like, her goal is to retire from her job. She works in like, you know, an office. Um, her goal is to retire from her job in the next year and move out to Arizona and live like in her sister's house 
it's like free of charge, whatever. So I just realized that there was a need for Beachbody because it could be something that she could do like after she retires and it doesn't even have to be like a full-time income for her. She could just kind of do it on the side and she's in shape. She working out as a part of her lifestyle. She's at the gym every single day. She works out like not every day, but you know, almost every day. And it's just a part of her lifestyle. So we got to talking and like now we're friends on Facebook. She has my phone number. Like we're trying to make plans to do other stuff. And now I have like a new friend, you know, and I'm actually connected like locally that I can do stuff with. And she's a potential coach. She hasn't signed up, but she's like, she's been asking me a lot of questions. I think she's just kind of deciding which, which program she wants to do. And then she already has a friend that she's been talking to about doing it with her. So I think she'll probably do the June challenge. So that's a great way to meet people in your area, in your local area, is meetup groups. You know, be creative. If you're a type of person that wants to do, like, face-to-face, -face, you know, then do that. If you want to, um, if you're the type of person that likes to be on the phone, I know some people, like, actually want to have that community and connection more than just, you know, um, text messaging or Facebook messaging. And then another way, I don't know if I talked to you guys about this last time or the first day was I go on my Instagram. If you have an Instagram account, um, Instagram is amazing for meeting new people. And I just search like a hashtag, something that I'm interested in, like Hawaii. Like I love Hawaii. And I'll find someone that, you know, has hashtagged Hawaii and I'll kind of look through a few of their photos and see, are they someone that, you know, is, would be my target market? Are they someone I can connect with? Someone I can be friends with? Obviously they're not going to be local. And, um, and then I'll just go and comment on one of their photos and be like, oh my gosh, what island is this? Like, would you live in Hawaii? And then they'll kind of like comment back and forth, you know, we'll have a little bit, two or three, you know, times. And then what I do is I drive them to my Facebook page and I'm like, I really, you know, enjoy um, continuing this conversation. Can, would you, are, do you have a Facebook? Can you add me? And then I basically have them, you know, add me on Facebook so they can see, you know, what I'm doing. And we, you can connect on a deeper level through Facebook, I think, than Instagram. Because Instagram is just like photos. I mean, you can't really like have conversations on there. And then I have my, I have my assistant <laughs> message all of my new friends on Facebook. And it's just a very simple message. It's like, Hi, how are you? Thanks for the ad. Did you find me on Instagram? Because I find most of my people on there. Um, are you a fitness enthusiast or a um, entrepreneur? And then I look forward to connecting with you. Very simply, like the same message. And pretty much everybody responds and they're like, oh, I'm a fitness enthusiast or, or no, I'm trying to work out or blah, 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 whatever. So it already leads me into a conversation with them about what I'm doing. So it's like a very easy way for us to already be talking about Beachbody. And then I'll converse back and forth and they're like, oh, I'm really working on my, my, my goals. And I'm like, well, what are you doing? What kind of workouts are you doing? Um, how is that working for you? Do you have any limitations? And then I get to the point where after I've like established some communication with them, I'll say, I'm actually starting an online health and fitness accountability group on June 1st, which that's our pre-week for our next one. It's actually officially kicking off on June 8th. And everybody can be in that group. You guys can all invite your challengers to that group. We can do it together. You don't have to feel like you have to run your own challenge group. Same with the five-day free clean eating group. There's power in numbers. And the people are getting more support with other coaches than just, you know, you running it on your own. So then I'll say, you know, our, our next, we have an online health and fitness accountability group starting June 8th or June 1st or whatever. Um, would you like to hear more about that? And then they'll be like, Sure. And then I plug them into step two. I'm like, or maybe I already know what their goals are because we've already talked about that. And then, you know, plug them into step three and step four and step five. And if you're struggling with the money objection, which most people do in the beginning, I recommend, highly recommend spending more time in step two, which just means maybe you're rushing it and maybe you're just trying to get the, you know, them to buy and you're not spending enough time actually getting to know them and making that connection and really figuring out what their motivation is to do the challenge. And if that still doesn't work, like you've spent a lot of time in step two and they're still giving you the objection, then a phone call, again, can go a long way. You know, get them on the phone and be like, especially like I've done this with, say there's a sale, you know, they're trying to do the Pio challenge pack and it's on sale and you're like, you know, when it's towards the end of the month, what I'll do is I'll give them a call and I'll be like, Hey, I know we kind of left the messaging, whatever at this, you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll say something along the lines of, 
I don't know where we last, last, last left off or I'm not sure if you're still interested in doing this, but the sale is going to be ending and I really don't want you to lose out on that awesome price. So, you know, if you still want to do it, you know, reach out to me. And I've closed people that way too, because they're like, they want to get that sale price, you know? And they feel like, they don't feel like I'm pressuring them or like I'm pushing them because the way that I present it is like, I don't want you to miss out on it, but it's cool if you're not, you know, it's cool if you're not ready. Maybe I can reach out to you next month. And they make it really non, like I don't push people, you know? And then I'll have people be like, oh my God, thank you so much for reminding me. Like, thank you so much for reaching out to me. Or if you have people that you've been prospecting and they're somewhere in the five-step process, maybe you've sent them a video to watch and they're on step three and maybe they stopped responding. Don't take it as that they're not interested or that they're ignoring you or that they think you're annoying because sometimes, I mean, people open up their messages when they're on the fly, you know, they're like in the middle of giving their kids a bath and they see the message and they open it and then they, you know, bathe their kids and they forget. So then all you have to do is send them a simple message saying, um, Hey, did you receive my last message? Did you, were you able to watch the video? What do you think? Or if it's not a video, just, Hey, did you receive my last message? And usually they're like, Oh, I did. I'm so sorry. I read it. I totally forgot. Thank you so much. And they're actually like appreciative because if you really are doing it to help them and you really actually care about them getting results, which obviously that's what we're about is actually finding the people that really do want to be serious about the challenge and get results, then they're actually going to be appreciative that you're reminding them and you actually care. You know, you're not just, you're not pushing them. And if someone is not ready, then they're not ready. Just put them on your list. There are no for right now. On average, it takes seven times of asking somebody something before they actually say yes. So don't feel like it's you. Don't feel like you suck because Trust me, I was horrible as a coach in the beginning. I couldn't even, I couldn't do anything to save my life. I didn't make success club for six months as a brand new coach. And here I am, you know, a six figure income earner three years later because I just didn't give up. I was consistent. I just kept inviting people. I never gave up on me and I never gave up on people. So that's my little soapbox. Do you have anything to add, Steph? <laughs> um. I do want to say that I learned it the hard way, but patience is a virtue. Um, I know that my own coaches, you know, struggle with this. It's like they send a message and they're like, they're not responding. They're not responding. Like, should I send them another message? And it's like, no, like what Marissa was saying, like they get busy, things happen. Um, there's been times where I've sent messages and like literally like a week or two later, they'll respond to me. Um, I had someone that just joined. She was someone I started a conversation with. I spent like two weeks talking to her. She was someone from high school. And when I finally kind of broached the subject of fitness, boom, like cold, didn't hear from her months, ever. <laughs> um, and she came back to me about a week and a half ago and apologized for just dropping me like a bad habit. And it turned out that, you know, she's been overweight her whole life and she has four kids and it's just not something that she can easily talk about. And she actually saw a video that I posted about what challenge groups are. And she said she just couldn't get it out of her head. And so she reached out to me with the apology and said, you know, I've always hidden by stuff. I did Weight Watchers because I could hide behind that. I didn't have to go to meetings. I could just hide and do the program in my house. And she's like, I'm sick of hiding. I need to come out of hiding. And she is, she lost like three and a half pounds in the first week. She did all the workouts. She's posting in my um, message group on the side. Like she's doing awesome. But that was someone that I just sat back and waited and she came back around on her own. And I've had that happen a handful of times. Like people are watching you. They are watching what you do. If you've reached out to them and you don't hear from them, it doesn't mean that they're not watching you. So, you know, virtue. And I'm going to tell you that like my, some of my best coaches actually probably like the majority of my coaches that are successful are the ones that it took me like a year to get them to actually become a coach. It took Stephanie almost a year. So, you know, don't, I mean, don't, don't underestimate the fact that you're planting seeds and it's a harvest and you're planting thousands of seeds. When a, when a farmer plants his seeds, thousands of seeds, not all of them sprout, you know, and they don't all sprout at the same time. And it, takes 75 to 90 days for the harvest to be able to actually um, harvest the corn. So it's, you're planting seeds and don't get discouraged because it happens to everyone. And I guarantee you, if you continue to keep planting those seeds, you're going to have those people coming back to you and being like, okay, I see that you're still doing this. I'm ready. Let's do it. 
Make sure you don't cancel the first call with them. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You cancel the first call with me. <laughs> um, as far as the I just want to share kind of like what I went through today because I had so many resources. Um, and like I said, I started off doing like the five step process with everyone, but then I was like, Oh my God, like I don't have time to do like 30 calls and do 35 step processes with people. Plus if they're not interested in the end, that was a lot of wasted time, but I am going and making the connection. Like I am doing a little bit of like conversation and saying like, awesome. Like, what are your goals? Do you have home gym equipment? It's not needed. I'm just curious. You know, we're going to have these great 10 minute workouts that require nothing and get your heart rate up um, because I am a personal trainer. I'm asking about heart rate if they're doing things on their own. So I'm doing a little bit of conversation, but then I'm getting them to like, okay, great. Well, the five day challenge is going to be a great jump start, And at the end of the five days, we can talk about what the next steps are going to be to get you to your goals. So that's kind of how I'm leaving it. Um, and I can't stress enough. I think it's important to have them sign up on your website for the free profile that, it, you know, I did talk to somebody today that was with another coach, but that coach didn't really do anything for them. And she actually wanted to switch over to me. I even said, would you like to reach out to your coach? Cause I'm not about stealing people. And she's like, actually, I don't want to reach out to her. I, I want to switch. And I was like, okay. But my point is, you know, you don't want to be having people do the free challenge that are under somebody else because the way Beachbody works, if they have another coach and even though they buy through your website, their coach will get your commission. Um, that's Beachbody protecting their coaches. So you don't want to work. You don't want to give money to another coach, basically. <laughs> so that's, that's my two cents. Anybody have questions about yeah. the free? Does anybody so, have questions? I have a question. How do you have them sign up for the free? Profile? Uh, yeah. Give them your website. So I'm giving them like the beachbodycoach.com slash Stephanie Kaufman. You tell them to click on join and then click on free profile. And they don't have to buy anything. It just lets them be like in your database. Okay, cool. Now that will prevent you from being able to send them a direct link. So even though they've never bought off of your website, but they're under you as a free profile, like a free membership, um, if they're like, great, I'm going to do 21 day fix and I want to do a challenge pack. They're going to have to go to your website. You will not be able to send them the link because they're already a customer per se. Oh, okay. Only down, cool. which isn't a downfall, but <laughs> any other questions? Anyone? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and post what I did if that helps you guys out. I saw the video. It's cool. You're all muted. So if you want to say something, all you have to do is click your um, face and then unmute your line. Or you can raise your hand and I'll unmute you. Nobody has questions? Okay. I'm going to post the link to the recording um, for anybody that missed. If you have coaches that missed, you can send them to my YouTube channel. And um, thanks for joining us. And this is the last week of our Coach Basics group. So if you're missing some of the videos, be sure to catch up. Um, be sure to watch them. And if you want to continue on, if you've reached your goal, we, we actually, I have another set of videos that's like uh, a to emerald to diamond and beyond. And if you feel like you're ready for those videos, I can keep the group open and, and post those for the next, there, it's another two weeks of videos. Actually, real quick, I want to add one last thing. Um, the 30 people that have reached out to me because of the video that I posted, I have friended all of them. So not only do I know that those are people interested in changing their lifestyle, but even if they don't do, you know, this free five challenge, they're still watching me and they're now my friends and I can reach out to them again, or I can see when they've liked my post and reach out to them again. So anybody that has interest in something that you post, friend them if they're not your friend. And I'm done. <laughs> that is a good advice. Okay, thanks for being on the call and we'll see you next week. Good night. Cool.